Hello everybody, it's William here. Uh, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me and all the amazing comments and people are sending me suggestions and things to look at and I actually this is turning into the most fantastic project. Oh, by the way, don't forget that uh, all of my Dimash videos are available with captions in these languages. So please do like and subscribe to my channel and let's spread the word about Dimash and his super wonderful singing talents. Dimash isn't all about fireworks and virtuosity. He also sings intimately and uh, with great sensitivity and heart. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce it correctly. This song is called Ikanaide or Ikanaide or Ikanaide but I think it's in Japanese and that's all I know so far, so let's go. He's in studio. In the recording studio. Such an amazing face. So serious. Okay, I'm stopping here because it's an, uh, obviously a point of, of change. And two things are coming very much to my mind. One is this extraordinary pitch that he has. Now, I've heard that he has, was born with perfect pitch. And that means that he knows a note, any note, when he hears it, he'll be able to tell you what that note is. It also means that he knows what the note should sound like in his head or in his mind before he sings it. This is incredibly in tune singing. The melody is very complicated, it's weaving around. It's also weaving around the upper part of his middle voice and into the head voice and back in again. He does that absolutely perfectly, by the way. With uh, You can see this is somebody who knows what they are doing. It's not by chance. Pitch perfect and the phrasing is perfect. And a phrasing means in a sense, it's like driving driving a car and then going around the winding roads and you're careful not to go too fast around the corner and uh, you're, you're stopping and you're slowing down to look at the view. And this is what it is in music. This is phrasing in music. It is literally following the path of the music, the way it goes. Now, so he's a naturally brilliant musician. Yeah, so let's, let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Just 
a little bit more voice. It's just so romantic, isn't it? Da -da, da -da, de -de 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 -de. And, and, and that, the reason I call it romantic is because that is the part where he's going over the upper break in his voice, the, um, the higher passaggio. But he goes through it with a little, just a little sob. And, and that's plangent, romantic. And it's, it's all of those things that make you feel your heart is breaking, you know? So that is that area of his voice where he's, he's touching your soul, really. Done it again. <sighs> Absolutely stunning. And it occurs to me that Dimash has harnessed his feminine and his masculine powers. Did you ever think of it like that? He has both the feminine and the masculine within him, as we all do. And when he sings in his feminine higher range it still has a masculine core and when he sings in his masculine range of his voice it has a feminine softness this is really rather like yin and yang uh, these two elements of the earth and the air meeting uh, in, in, in his body and creating this extraordinary extraordinary artistic experience <laughs>
He's, he's enormously talented. He's theatrical. He understands pacing. He understands meaning. He understands how to, to go deep down into his soul and communicate something that's of value. And I honestly think that he's completely extraordinary. I'm, I'm literally astounded. And maybe by that song, more than any of the songs I've seen so far, I'm absolutely blown away. Thanks for watching. William here in Bangkok. Bye.